Okay, so we tested it and it went excellent. Problem solved, solution found, and um, good to do a long trip now. Now we feel safe while we're driving. We can turn one way to the other without, we, like we used to turn left, and then if you wanted to turn right, you'd have to do this to the car just to try to balance the straight. Because you turn left, and so go two to the left, and you have to turn right, too much to the right, you know. And now when I turn, it just goes with the floor. So quite excellent indeed. Get the grill, get this new part, okay, in fiberglass. And um, I need a new battery. Um, this one is still working. That, um, that little gadget thing we did here uh, worked out, okay. No more liquid spilling. But still, I'll get a new one just in case things go bad. Okay guys, so if you work hard and if you invent and creative, you will succeed with God's good grace. That is the lesson. Okay, we didn't have a clue. Even the mechanic was battling and thank God we got the solution to the problem. And thank God we found out which the problem was. And those black tubes look quite better than the red ones <laughs> no spilling of oil all is good maybe it was because it was hitting on this cover and forcing it the oil was spilling so we're going to keep attentive to that as well just in case and uh, i gotta do the patches of paint and everything so yes i'll keep on um getting all this content for you guys okay and uh, i can't wait to Go on holiday with all these toys <laughs> and show you guys the real deal. Okay everyone, so today I'm going to work a bit on the Mazda. Okay, get the Mazda gearbox oil change because um, you have to do it now and then, you know. It's an RX-8, <laughs> so everyone knows RX-8 knows that it needs love and maintenance. But all these... Um, all has a solution, okay? Uh, just gotta give us some care. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so now we're ready. Just letting it warm up a little bit, you know, just so that it's, I don't switch it off while it's still cold. Uh, something that it doesn't like. <laughs> um, but it's still a beautiful car. I know it has its issues, but you just have to know how to get around them, you know? <laughs> it's a relationship. <laughs> Of wood, you know, just to get it right. Wood with our blocks just to make sure it stays, you know, in one place, doesn't go forward or backwards. Okay, okay, so we got the old oil, uh, that's why I always keep old empty plastic bottles or five liters, it always comes in handy. It actually almost takes five liters. 
I hope I have five liters. Um, it's got two stages on the gearbox, you know. So the oil did. I think it only did what four thousand kilometers, and uh, quite burned up, eh? Um, it's quite dark, as you can see there. Let me try to zoom it in. Over here, put some lights. See? Quite darkened up, eh? There's now a different make of oil. Gearbox oil, transmission oil. And the differential oil, I'll change in like later stage because um, <coughs> that's one that I used was a, a more expensive quality and I know that at 4,000 kilometers isn't sufficient to change it already. But this gearbox, I've already changed the oil like three times since I bought the car because I knew that maybe they didn't change the oil. So this will be the fourth time I'm changing the oil just to make sure that I prolong the life of the gearbox uh, so we got our drain plugs ready to go okay so we went through three bottles of this and uh, we need another one <laughs> I never get it right on how much oil I need so um, I gotta go buy more and um, finish this okie dokie there are two compartments here so when when you start filling the i don't know if you guys can see so one's in the front there okay and then you got you see those two draining plugs one next to the other and then you got the top ones up there one's open still you see now once you start filling the front one because the car's inclined to the back that's one with the t starts filling up so i have to close that one okay now to um, finish up full in the one in front, the one that's open. And then once it's full, close it up and good to go. Wow, what a difference in noise. Makes such a difference, you know. You used to hear like this, tuk, 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 now nothing. All silent, smooth. So it makes a big difference. So I also checked the level for the differential. At the back here, uh, you see right there. So, where do you see that B over there? Okay, that's the draining plug, and then right above, you can't see it quite well, but that's where you put the oil. So, I also check the level on that, and uh, it's all good, just making sure there's no. that this one also has aircon I always forget about to mention the aircons on the cars I think so not sure but can't hear any noise nothing just letting it reach the temperature can't hear any noise whatsoever it is always worth um, changing your uh, gearbox oil so on the Mazda, I'm changing every, on the, almost every maintenance that I do, like uh, I've been changing 3,000 kilometers, yes, and then the gearbox I've been changing every 5,000. Um, it's like I say, it's a car that needs, very needy. <laughs> it's very expensive at the shops, I was actually quite surprised. So um, normally I order my stuff through um, Autodoc. And uh, I have to like buy like 10-15 litres because now with all the cars 
I've got to have extra oil for all of this. Uh, actually got to go change the, got some new coppers as well for the caddy, you know, just a little <laughs> upgrade, <laughs> easy one. Test drived it and much better, much smoother, so something I always like to do. Check out the lights, see, how cool is that, eh? <laughs> so cool, I never opened the door, people look at it and they're like, wow, what is it? <laughs> An RX8. <laughs> you can actually get these lights for almost every car in Aliexpress, you know, just got to search it. Okay, so we got these cool carpets that are like 3D. I've been wanting to get these types for the Caddy for a long time, but I couldn't find them, you know, even on Autodoc where I normally buy all of my carpets. Um, the problem is that with the photos, you never know. But these ones were very cheap and they look very cool with the 3D. Like that it can grip up all the sand and everything, you know. Because um, with the Caddy we never know where we have to park, you know. Going to clients and everything else. So yes, now I'm going to use the front Caddy ones for the Saxo because I didn't have, remember. Okay, see? Much better. Now all the dirt is like a bucket. Just gets all the dirt, water, everything. Excellent. What I always wanted for this van. And at the back, I even left the old one beneath it, and but that one for extra protection. We were always getting dirt all over, you know. Flat ones don't give for the caddy. And now we have the good year for the saxo. Now I just got to trim it there, and then that's it. Okay, everyone. So check it out looking beautiful i mean updates letters are even bigger uh, still haven't tried out these ones they're called the butter letters it actually has like a buttery taste very cool we got the eggplants right here look how big it is guys hey more eggplants growing each flower is an eggplant Quite cool. Uh, so many tomatoes, tomatoes growing. Look at that. They're really getting bigger. Okay. We have plenty. All of them have tomatoes, tomatoes right now. All of them. Let me see. Let me see. This one stall doesn't. Neither does this one have. But these all do. Yes, all these do. So that one's still growing, but those ones were the last ones we plotted because they failed, the previous ones. Um, sweet potato doing good down there as well. And uh, beetroot is also doing very good, as you can see. Just needs to grow more so we can take it out. Spinach has to also grow a bit more, the leaves. You can see. Um... We already have watermelons. Look how cute these little things are. Look at that tiny little cute thing. We already got the shape and the color of a watermelon. That's like the first for me. Never had watermelon before. Let's see how big it grows. And uh, everything else is just booming. I mean booming. These are going to be for Christmas time. Um, but if they grow a lot, we can already start taking out to do some nice cabbage soup. We will show you guys. Very, very tasty soup. Um, another little watermelon. Check that out. How cute is that, guys? Look at that. <laughs> a little miniature. The melons. Um, I haven't planted any more. Only that one failed. And this one failed because something ate them. So we have one, two, uh, we have three and four. Four melons. That was also melon, but uh, something ate the leaves. I don't know if they're going to pick on. Normally, once they eat them, they just don't, they just go. So we're going to have to wait and see. Um, basil is beautiful. It's the first time we have a beautiful basil like that. 
Then here, I don't know what this is. This is just weeds, hey. These are weeds. Got to pick, pick these ones out. The peppermint uh, is doing well there. Our gem squashes are just booming. See, each flower will be a gem squash. Okay, it's like a little pumpkin. Beautiful taste with butter. Then I'll show you guys as well. Actually, these are quite ready, aren't they? These are ready, aren't they? These beans are ready to pick. Yes, that's right. So let's start. Okay. Oops. Don't tell anyone I did that by mistake. <laughs> no one saw. <laughs> uh, that was that was that was an accident. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, I should actually have some scissors. You know. Let me see if I can do this one right. They're quite tough, eh? Okay, now this one. Oh, good. Doing this with one hand. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. Three. We have any more? There's a small one there. Pop, 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 pop. Look at this. Like Jack in the Beanstalk. It just grows. I didn't wrap this up, it just wrapped itself. Crazy. I got its mind of its own, eh? Yep, got these three for now. That's good because we have much more growing. See here, another one here, right here, and uh, they all going to start booming as well. So yes, happy happy days are coming, guys, with the future greenhouse. We're gonna get this week done the water tank, and uh, that will be a big step up. And then I gotta start like just covering the sides of this, getting ready so that the bugs keep out, you know. Let's see, these are getting dark already, so that's a good sign. Okay, that's about it. That wraps it up, guys. That wraps it up. Okay, and strawberries are booming as well, everyone. Every day I've been taking strawberries. Actually, got one here right now. There you go. They, now they're going to start. Now the party is on. I haven't got any more strawberries in the shops. Can you believe it? No one has stock. Um, just went. Everyone bought strawberries. They must have like a feeling of strawberries this year. Look how many strawberries we are growing. So many. Not just booms. But I, I, I wanted to fill this up more. And on those two vases right here. This table is getting out of here guys. I'm going to smash it up for wood. Um, I want to put strawberries in here. I want to put strawberries in there. Wherever I can put strawberries, that's what I'm going to do. Okie dokie. That's the update on the... Got it. Oh, and we got this... Um, we're going to put more white stones throughout the field here. So that is give like a good finishing until that point you see so i just laid down the the anti-weed sheets with plastic underneath so yes we're going to cover this with white so i'm going to put some cement going across right there to prevent the stones from going there so that's what we call and our shelter for the beetles is working perfectly um every day seeing new beetles coming up um amazing Really happy. Worked out, eh? The plan worked out, guys. And we have the first female right there. <laughs> so our shelter is working out. It is attracting them. Very good. How cool is that, guys, eh? A little female right there. How cool. She's eating the plums. <laughs> So we gotta keep on putting some plums there. Don't know if there's any more, but we'll just leave her. 